What's up you guys, Sunny here with GeekTools.net and welcome to part 2 of how to hide your cables and wiring and make your room look all neat. Um, right now I have done pretty much uh, the most, the, a good amount of my cable management. As you can see there is no visible wires underneath the desk other than that power bar that's hanging down there which I'll show you how to hide. And um, uh, I'm just going to give you some secret tips on how to hide your cables so it's not visible but still accessible such as if you have an iPod cable that you want to plug in or a uh, special sync cable that you want to plug in how to keep it on your desk without anyone seeing it which is kind of cool so um, anyways we're going to jump right in here with um, the secret to hiding your uh, sync cables from visibility but still be able to use it and that is basically coiling coil in coiling uh, the cables around such anything that you can find really um, this desk has little handy li these little you know things that stick out here which I can wrap my cables around and this is a um, a uh, just a mini USB cable and I use this to plug into the camcorder that I'm using right now to record so it's really handy just to be here and of course after I'm done I just wind it back up very simple and uh, this works you know not on all desks but you can definitely buy accessories that has you know little hooks on it that you can hook your cables to which is really cool and this basically keeps it out of the way uh, of your workspace but when you do need to use it it's right there accessible uh, in addition to that um, your best friend in doing all these cable management as I said before are zip ties and zip ties, of course, uh, well, these aren't zip, zip ties, these are Velcro, Velcro ties. And these are your best friends because you can use them in so many different uh, situations. Um, if you have a lot of remotes in your room, and if you have a media center in your room, you don't know where to put them, and you always lose them. So what I do is put them, put the remotes underneath my uh, desk, just like so. So I always have quick access to them, and after I'm done using them, it's hidden away. No one can really see it from up top because there's this black, black bezel here, and um, it's just really nice and convenient. So um, using these Velcro Velcro ties, just cut a little piece off, and um, since <laughs> Velcro ties are black, it's kind of difficult to see this, but basically just stick some Velcro ties onto your um, little wherever you want, and basically slide your remote in and that's pretty much it. It's really handy and it works really well. Another very important tool when doing cable management is uh, this thing right here. This is a hot glue gun. Most people have it at home. They're really cheap. They're like three bucks for the, well okay, a little more than that. Five bucks for the gun and three sticks of glue. Uh, the sticks of glue is three dollars for like like 15 sticks and these sticks last for quite a while so a good deal and basically you just wanna glue these the little velcro straps on and uh, that's how you stick them on in addition to that uh, making sure that your workspace is filled with wireless technology makes everything looks neat look neater uh, wireless mouse wireless keyboard and of course everything in my room is wireless wireless keyboard wireless mouse and uh, even wired um, stuff like this, I try to hide the cables as best as I can. When I pull this keyboard tray out, you can see that the cable runs along the side where no one can really see it. And when I fold it back in, you can see that the cable just disappears. It's not there. When I pull it out, there is a tiny bit of cable, but really no one's going to really notice it. So that's how you hide cables when you, especially because this thing is a sliding surface, you need extra cable for it to slide or else you can't have it, you know, tight the whole way. So you need a little bit of space for the cable to slide. But overall, it performs really well and I like that a lot. And um, let's get down here. Just make sure that all of your wires come into one big wire and... Uh, you can notice that this is a huge computer. This is a Antec 1200 gaming case, and uh, notice how it's really tall, which makes it, you know, uh, shorter cases will show more of the cables, and uh, taller cases like this one will show a very small amount of the cables. Now I am not done. If you haven't noticed yet, uh, I still have this cable to, well, not this cable, this cable to hide. I'm just doing some tests, and um, also I need to hide that power brick over there. 
And also, uh, this is going to be in part three, I'm going to wrap everything in the electrical tape. So that, that takes care of any color differences in the room. All the cables, you can see a white cable there, and there's a bunch of other types of colors of cables over there. That's all, all going to disappear, making it look really nice and clean. Um, another thing is, remember, color is really important. Everything in my room is black. Black computer, black desk, black, you know, touchpad and, you know, pad. Uh, black mouse-ish. Uh, silver keyboard, that's different. Um, and if something isn't black, like this thing here, which wasn't black, I spray paint it. Um, just to make it look black. And this is big red light in the way, holy cow. But, um, yeah, so just, well, you're not going to spray paint, you know, if you have something that costs, like, you know, over 50 bucks on your desk, you're not going to spray paint it. But, you know, little things like this that cost, like, 10 bucks or, you know, 7 bucks or whatever, uh, I, I won't mind spray painting it because it really doesn't damage the product, especially if you, you really be careful of these, you know, slots here. You just, you don't want to spray paint inside of it. Spray, spray, yeah, I'm losing my words here. Sorry, guys. Uh, spray paint around it. To make sure that you don't, you know, damage any components inside, and that should be all good. Um, you can see also this iPod dock that I custom made, spray painted black. Uh, make sure you have black zip ties when you're doing any, you know, zip tying work, and uh, really just keep your color looking as, you know, whatever color you choose. Just make it, make sure that every other product that you have matches that color or at least match it in some way, it doesn't have to be the exact color. Um, you can still see my room is extremely messy, um, that's because I still you know, have a lot of stuff to do, but um, pretty much uh, we are at the end stages of cable management. Now I would also like to talk about power, power uh, bars, power bricks, no not bricks, but power bars. Um, try to hide them in a very convenient but very accessible place. Now I know the lighting in here is horrible because uh, really it's kind of moody outside and actually you know what I could turn on a light hold on oh, sorry about this horrible video uh, but you guys kind of have to live with it because I'm not gonna... ah copyright copyright Jesus Christ uh, you, you heard nothing you heard nothing sorry you guys <laughs> I was just downloading a uh, instrumental anyways. Uh, for power bars, you want to make sure that they're um, connected efficiently. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, notice how power bars usually usually have switches. At night, uh, what I what I'll do is um, turn off this power power bar because I don't need the stuff running all night. The stuff over here uh, on this power bar never gets shut off. So, such things as my hard drives. Uh, my chargers and all this stuff when I shut this one off it's not gonna affect uh, all my other charging components so my monitors I mean if my computers turned off I don't need my monitors to be on I don't need my sound to be on I don't need you know all this stuff to be on wasting energy so all I do is flick this switch you notice that everything is still on my computer is still on my computer is plugged in directly to the wall and uh, everything is still functioning just the you know uh, accessories I have is shut off which is really important for power consumption because um, by shutting off that one power supply I have shut down my monitors, uh, my sound, my uh, that particular, that one hard drive over there and pretty much everything else that I don't need running so that's really handy. Um, make sure that you do do that because it does uh, conserve a lot of energy and uh, anything else uh, like this just you know glue it on run your cables to the best of your ability um, you know I, I have it ran through the center beam here but you can't see it because uh, it's black cable it's black it's all good so um, that's pretty much it for part two just make sure that you do everything correctly um, if you mess up it's really difficult to go back because you're using zip ties um, so try to make sure every cable is routed properly and uh, have a good picture in your mind before starting because that's really important as well. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Uh, well, thanks for watching part 2. If you guys have any more questions or comments, make sure you watch part 3 before asking. And uh, basically, post a comment below. you can post a comment below, email me sunny at mastersunny.com. 
you can visit my web visit my website geektools.net uh, geektools with a z at the end by the way and um, yeah please go ahead and check out part three how to hide your cables thanks for watching you guys have a great day